Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing? It is Lasty here. Today, what I wanted to bring you was just a little bit of information and stuff like that based around the current situation we're experiencing on the FIFA Ultimate Team market. Now, uh, a lot of you guys will be asking yourselves a couple of questions and I'm going to attempt to try and answer them today. I'm not going to uh, have a complete and utter rant about EA or anything like that. I'm going to try and sort of, you know, structure it so that you guys get answers to the sort of questions that you're probably thinking about. Perhaps if you're more of a casual gamer on this game and stuff like that. So, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, perhaps you're asking yourselves the questions... Why can't my players sell? Why am I listing my players for the minimum price and they're literally not selling? Well, basically that would be down to EA uh, not setting the price ranges. You know, price ranges are a whole new thing and you've probably seen a thousand other different videos about people's thoughts and stuff like that on price ranges. Well, um, they're obviously a very new thing for EA and they've obviously not set the price ranges very well on some players. Now, uh, at the moment, there's players like, let's, all of these players right here are kind of, they're saturated to a point where I probably could not sell them first time, second time, or even third time round on the market. Simply because if I have a look at how much they're going for, like let's have a look at Neymar right now. If I try and list him on the market, I don't know what, where he's gone right there. There we go. And then I compare price, have a look at the market. Look at this. 500,000 start price, 501,000 buy it now. And they're not selling simply because there are so many on the market. EA, what they've done is overestimate the amount that they think people would buy this card for. And therefore, his minimum price is far too high. And people think, oh, I can cash my Neymar in for 500,000 coins. And well, you just can't because he's hardly going to sell. I bought mine for 500k because I needed one for a video. However, that is 500k pretty much tied up in my club that I will not be able to sell on until they um, either reduce the minimum price for this guy. And at that point, the whole price will crash and everything will just go nuts, I'm sure. Uh, or they actually remove... Uh, the minimum price cap altogether. Now, that's the first thing that you probably are wondering. You know, if you if you're wondering why you're listing players and they're not selling, it is simply due uh, to a miscalculation in what EA believe these players are worth based on what you guys think they're worth. And obviously, people are trying to cash in, and it's not quite working. Unfortunately, on the other side of the spectrum, we've got uh, a bit of an extinction happening of some of these players. They're no, then you're not able to purchase them on the market. The question you might be asking yourself here is literally, I'm going out on the market to pick up one of these new Man of the Match cards that EA have released. And well, I literally can't get one. Why can't I get one? Well, it's basically, again, because EA have set a price range which is um, very... It looks really good to you guys. You want to pick up a card for as cheap as they've set him for because he, you think it's worth it. Like, for example, this Delph right here. His price range is literally between 15 and 25,000 coins. Now, he's a man of the match card, an orange card, who's in the BPL, who is English, and he's got decent stats. How on earth... Have EA decided that what he would be worth is 25,000 coins tops? If you pack this card, ask yourself this question. Would you bother selling him? Because it's probably taken you either a lot of coins or a lot of FIFA points to pack a rare card like Delph. And he's only worth 25k. I would keep that first owner in my club. That is for damn sure. Now, the type of players this is happening to are mainly new players. You know, mainly players which... Um, are coming out like the man of the match cards. They're only out for a short amount of time, so they're very rare. Yet EA are deciding that to, to put them up for a price which a lot of people are obviously willing to pay, or too many people are willing to pay, therefore they're extinct on the market. You have to search... Oh my god, it's disgusting. It's horrible how hard you have to search in order to try and get one of these. And you basically, it's a race between who can press the buttons quick enough to find this guy on the market when some person lists him up in order for you to buy him. Now, um, the other types of players this is affecting are like really rare, cool players. Like for instance, Ronaldo Striker card. He is someone which um, is... He's a position change. He's someone which has it's never happened before, a striker version of Ronaldo. Therefore, he's extremely rare. He's extremely um, valuable. And even though EA have set a price range for him, well, people don't believe... Well, people believe he's worth more than that price range. Now, Roberto Carlos, this has happened to as well. I believe his price range goes up to 3 million, whereas before he was selling for someone like 8 million coins. 
So people are not going to sell them if they've already got them in their club and they've paid 8 mil for them because they'll be taking a massive, massive loss. And people aren't willing to do that. Now, the, the, the cards this week, El Kabir and Boateng that have all come out with the team of the week and the man of the matches, they're, they're extremely difficult to get. Um, and the way that I see EA are able to change it would be as follows. In order to fix the saturation of players... It would obviously be to either scrap the minimum bin idea, the minimum buy it now price idea, um, which would allow players to be more freely sold rather than having like an EA store type of market, which we currently have at the moment. Um, of course, in their aid to to stop coin sellers and stuff like that, which we all know it was going to happen, it's going to happen, it is happening. Um, they obviously want to set caps on these players so that you can't buy a player for over the odds now i get that there's a maximum price but a minimum price seems a little bit um constricted of what we can actually do in this game it does become more of an ea store than it does um an actual free flow in market now in order to, you might say okay well perhaps then a player that you could sell for 200 or you could buy for 200k could then sell for 800k because that's his maximum price that makes coin selling more easy again well ea are going to have to really monitor these uh, maximum prices and minimum prices and if they do remove the minimum price the thing they'll have to do is keep on top of player values if a player decide if a player crashes in value like say that neymar that we talked about earlier crashes down to 200k well then his maximum bin should not be anywhere near 750 and ea need to implement that probably on a daily basis this is an ever-changing market uh, and they really do need to be on top of that if this is the the, the way they're going to go going forwards then they need to be very very much so on top of it um, for extinction of players, they need to be more realistic with setting their price ranges. It's, it's clear to see that it's happening to the newer players that are coming out, the informs and all of that good stuff. Um, so, you know, be sensible. An English BPL centre midfielder who's a man of the match card, be real. He's not going to be worth 25k. People are going to snap that up all day long or they're not going to sell him. So, um, be a little bit more realistic. You know, Boateng, this, this card that we're looking at right now. He's epic. He looks amazing. He looks like possibly the best centre-back in the game. Um, and you know that there are people out there with a million coins. So I don't get why why his price has been set the way it is. You know, It just takes a little bit more thought. And EA are obviously getting to the point where this is a new feature. Uh, and um, it's going to experience some some problems and it obviously is big time lots of people are really really hating on the company right now uh i'm i'm not too much of a fan of it myself at the moment it's making things like buying players for videos and making videos a little bit more difficult which it shouldn't be i'm trying to actually release some content for you guys and it's making it more difficult and it's for the casual player like you a lot of you guys out there i would imagine that you probably just stop playing the game and that's not good for anyone um so those have been my thoughts. I didn't want to rag on EA or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys in case you had the questions in your head of why am I unable to sell some of my players and then why does it seem impossible? Why does it seem impossible that I can't buy some of the players that I actually want? They're never on the market. I hope that's answered a couple of those questions. Uh, feel free to leave your comments down below. I would really appreciate your feedback and all of that good stuff. Um, thank you so much for the support on my videos. I really love you guys and I'll catch you next time. Peace.